Hello, good evening, good afternoon. I want to quickly share with you something very important. Okay, it just uh, crossed my mind today to share with you. If or have you ever been in a situation where you entered a trade and it ran into profits, then you closed all trades, took your profit and only for you to turn on your MT4, MT5 app to discover that the trade, the same trade you closed in profit has run into much more profit, much more than you closed in. Have you ever been in that shoe? Man, the feeling is not, <laughs> it's not funny. Okay, the feeling is not funny. I mean, you close the trade in, let's say, uh, in a hundred dollar profit, only for you to check back and see that the trade has run into. That is, if you and discover that if you left the trade, you would have made over five hundred dollar profit. That means you gave away, you left four hundred dollar plus on the table. Man, that feeling is terrible. <laughs> so I want to quickly share with you today how to manage that and how I personally manage that. All right, quickly two solutions to that is firstly, I set I set a defined profit target, defined profit level. For instance, I could say I I want to I'm targeting a $50 or a $100 or a $200 profit target. Now I decide that whenever my trade hits that target, whatever is left or whatsoever uh, 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 no matter the amount of profit that the trade runs into, I have left it. It's not mine. I leave it for the market. It's a personal decision. I just decide that this is how this much. This is the much I want to take. Now, if the trade goes far much into profit, that end my business. I'm not going to look at re-entering again. Now, nah. I just stick with my defined plan. Two hundred dollars and I'm out. Hundred dollars, fifty dollars, three hundred dollars, whatever, and I'm out. Sometimes $50, I'm out. Sometimes $20, $40, $60, $70, and I'm out. That's setting a predefined profit target. This is uh, regardless of the, the, uh, the, the next uh, 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 support level or the next resistance level. If it, gets there, if it doesn't get there, it's not your business. You've taken your cut of the market and you've left. Now, you need to know that... Uh, you are, you want the, the market is not going to run it's not closing up anytime soon this is forex we're talking about here it's not crashing okay it's not crashing anytime soon all right it's going to be as long almost as long as life will exist okay so don't be in a hurry to want to make the whole money in a day that is one of the reasons why setting a predefined target is necessary or is good okay it can help you to to put a knife to your truth okay so that you don't uh, uh, over trade and spend too much time in the market in the name of making profit. For example, I took a trade today on VX75 and I had a, a, a set profit target. Okay, I wanted to just make a hundred and twenty dollars, all right, and uh, that was it. Surprisingly, the trade ran in my favor as, as, uh, as I as my technical analysis, all right, proved. Now, after hitting my target, in about, uh, let's say about an hour later, I turned on my app and I saw that the trade has run into much more profit. And I calculated if I had left that trade, instead of uh, bagging $100, I would have bagged around $350. I was tempted to want to jump back into the, into the, into the trade, okay? Well, that's, that's part of the disciplines of being a trader. You just have to put a knife to your truth no matter what happens. All right, so that's one point set uh, uh, define profit targets. The next point is you want to uh, you may consider using trailing stop. I wanted to use trailing stop for this very trade I took, but I don't know what happened. Maybe I just forgot or something. Okay, trailing stop simply means you 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 enter the trade and once the trade moves into profit, let's say it moves into a fifty dollar profit, you bring your you set your stop loss to your entry to secure. A break even so if the trade goes bad you don't lose you don't make any profit that's what we call break even now if the trade moves further into profits you keep adjusting your stop loss all right in the direction of the profits so that you are able to secure a certain percentage of the profit so let's say you make your you, you took a trade and you are you, your trade has gone into 
um, let's say five uh, uh, five hundred dollar profit or three hundred dollar profit. Now you move that your stop to especially if you're trading a very volatile volatile asset, okay very very valuable asset an asset that is very, very valuable like v75 or gbp jpy all right uh or the big indices the handsex and the das and the nasdaq and all that all right so you move your stop to your break even first of all secure the break even point then next take your stop further by taking it further you may have secured let's say 200 dollars or 300 dollars or 100 dollars now if the trade travels more in, in in your favor in profit you keep moving your stop and that's one way to one way to stay long in the market and you determine that if he hit my stop whatever is left is what i'm going to go home with no greed no jumping back in no revenge trading no taking it on the market no if he hit my stop at any point in time that is what i'm going to i'm comfortable to go home with do you understand so these are uh, two of the ways to handle that feeling of uh, uh do i call it anger that you left the market too soon, and the profit uh, and the, and the market has now traveled into deeper profits. Right? If you if you set pre predetermined uh, profit uh, target, you won't feel bad. If you feel bad, remind yourself that I decided this. Next, if you set trailing stops, you still win, won't feel bad. If you feel bad, remind yourself that I decided that I was going to trail my stop, and any at, and at any point in time where the, my stop is hit, I walk away. So if you put these two things in action, you will not be uh, so emotional when you take out some profit and you see trades run into much more profit. Now, you won't be so emotional. All right. So take out time. Go by the video again. Uh, if you're not been practicing it, give it a try and see how far it goes. All right. I hope this helps somebody. Uh, this is a Saturday here where I am. And um, have a wonderful weekend. Ciao.